Any news on Romeo? Romeo's not here. I assure you, everyone wants to find Romeo. Ridiculous. It's obvious he's not here. We'd rather everybody stayed. He can't, he's got skill. No. You should be out trying to find whatever nut has him. We are doing everything we can to find your son. What, by searching under the bed? They could have taken him anyway done anything to him by now. The first 48 hours are crucial in normal missing person cases. But this is a manhunt. Romeo loved Wayne. There's no way that he killed her. There is evidence. And where are you going? To find Romeo. You better hope nothing's happened to him. Hey, what's with the coppers? James hasn't. If something's happened, I'm not talking, I remember. Look, I'm sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have said what I did. Look, nobody heard. You accused me of wanting to kiss you. I oh, know. Why would you do that? Dylan! I'm so sorry. I meant to make your lunch yesterday before my night shift. It's from Price Slice. Is, uh, everything OK? Yeah, um, thanks for this. I'll... I'll see you tonight. OK, right. Is there a reason why you're following me? Yep, I'm good school. Yeah, well, I'm not. Are you OK? Dead bodies, kidnapping, police breaking down the door. Just another normal day around here. It must have been one of Rain's obsessive fans that kidnapped Romeo. One of them sent him some crazy DMs. Or it was Brent. It's not like he hasn't got form. Either that or it's a setup. You think Romeo faked it? Well, I kind of hope he did. Because if they have taken him, who knows what they're going to do to him? I don't even want to think about it. At least now we know what happened to Rain. Things can get back to normal. Will they? I think you had the right idea of skipping out. I didn't skip out, I got a job. OK, well, I have to go to work, so if there's any news, call me. I do feel bad about leaving so suddenly. Yeah. It would have been nice to have a proper goodbye rather than a note. I'm sorry. If I could go back, Water under the bridge. So what are you doing now? I'm supposed to be having a day off, but I don't really feel like doing much now. I could always put a film on. Take my mind off everything. Don't you have work? I can have a couple of hours off. I can even make my special nachos. <laughs> Yeah, a bit of normality would be nice. And if I remember correctly, I think it's my turn to choose the film. <laughs> I am pleased that the job's going well. It is. Norwich is lovely. But it is nice to be back. Even with the police kicking down the door. Even with that. And I know that I only came back for the case, but... That'll be the guy to mend the door. Candy. <clears throat> I'm Lucas. How old are you? Um, 18. I've got your money. No need to shout it. We can go to mine.
What are you doing? Huh? I get lost. I presume this isn't some girl you just met at the park. You know he's a kid. Oh, shut up. Ask him. He's 15. His school uniform is probably still in that bag. Do you want another snack? Hey, wait, what's going on? This is a business, and I don't want the police thinking I sell my services to kids. What about my money? Call me when you've hit puberty. Why would you hire a hacker? Mate, what are you thinking? We are not mates. Why? Because I find guys attractive. Or because you do. You have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I know all about what it's like to not feel normal. Look, I'm not going to out you, OK? But hiring sex workers, throwing tantrums, why are you trying to be someone that you're not? <laughs> I'm pansexual. Your dad's gay. I am not my dad. So just leave me alone. What's the latest? Still no sign. But can you remember anything else about the vehicle or the man that grabbed it? No. I told you everything. Look, I shouldn't be telling you this, but we're looking into the possibility that the kidnapping was staged. It didn't look like that. Yeah, well, we have to explore everything. It's not like Romeo didn't have a good reason to vanish. <sighs> OK, so what's going to happen to Prince? His case will be reviewed. Reviewed? Romeo confessed to killing Rain. Wait, what? Romeo killed his girlfriend? Yeah, that's the assumption we're working on. Assumption? I gave you the footage from my glasses. Does Steve know? Does James know? Do you mind? It's a private conversation. OK, well, maybe go somewhere private. The evidence proves that Prince didn't do it. Look, I get that you're concerned about your brother. I do. But for now, finding Romeo's priority. Hello? Have you completely lost your mind? I didn't tell them to put a bag over your head. Oh, thank you very much. A couple of guys tied me up and throw me into a van. I thought I was going to die. You were going to the police. So what? You hire a hitman to try and stop me? I'm just trying to protect you. This is you protecting me, is it? I never should have told you the truth. Yeah, well, you did. I did it. Listen to me. I'm gonna fix this. If you're not gonna prison, <laughs> you're my son. And I'm not losing you. We've both been kidding ourselves for weeks. I was never gonna get away with this. I should have just told the truth from the beginning, and now I'm hiding away like a coward. And what's that gonna achieve? Getting locked up for the rest of your life like some animal. You're not a murderer, Romeo. You just you made a mistake. Killed my girlfriend. Yeah. And now we need to make sure that two lives don't go to waste. I can't stay in here. It's just until I come up with the proper plan. So all my life's become now. Me sitting around waiting for you to tell me my next move. I can't live like this, Dad. Do you know how much I've risked for you? I'm an accomplice now. You hand yourself in, and I'm going down too. Is that what you want? Is that what Juliet would have wanted? She doesn't get to have a life, but you do. I can't lose another person I love. I just can't. You've got to understand that. I've left you some food and water. I'll be back as soon as I can. No, Dad, don't leave me here. Just don't go anywhere. Dad, you can't leave me here on my own. Dad! Yeah, I never thought that Romeo would be capable of hurting someone. Then again, look what his dad did to our Lucas. Can we please stop talking about it? Wonder if Donna Marie knows. Mom. Stop. I I'm sorry, Pez. I just can't get my head around it. What, and you think I can? Mom, I was with him that night. And I've been trying to figure out what happened to Rain for months. You know, I comforted him about her when the whole time... Dad! Look at it. Hey, so 
have it. I had to wait until my lunch break. Hez. I'm so sorry. Yes, yeah, how could he lie to me? After everything we've been through together, everything I've done for him. He doesn't deserve you. You are amazing and so kind. And you're gonna find someone who doesn't take advantage of that. Come here. It's really important if Romeo gets in contact with you, give this number a call, okay? Lucas! <laughs> Shouldn't you be at school? I'm sorry to hear about Romeo. I'm not. You couldn't help me with my bag, could you? It's for a charity sale at the hospital. I think I overestimated my strength. <laughs> well, if it's not Romeo that's upsetting you, is there something else? Sometimes it's easier to talk to someone who's less involved. It's not that important. That's someone said something. Or done something. It's not about anybody else. I'm the problem. Lucas, it's natural to feel out of sorts sometimes, especially at your age. There are so many external pressures. It's me. I'm the one that keeps making all these bad decisions. I keep disappointing everybody. Does your dad know how you feel? Oh, he's got too much to worry about. But you can't deal with this on your own. I'm fine. Just leave it. You all right? <coughs> Just came round to check on our stay. Ah, uh, off you one, but... Yeah, uh... better not. <laughs> Listen, it is awful what's happened with Romeo. Police raided our flat as well. I think they thought Pez had something to do with his disappearance. He'll be okay, you know. Cheers, thanks. Leah wants to stay at her mates. I told her to come straight back home. Any news? I'm gonna get back to Pez. Ring me if you need help. Bye. Is this my fault? You know, by somehow... You're an amazing dad. And an amazing husband. I know things haven't been great for us recently. But you've really turned things around. You've done everything I've asked, so now it's time for me to support you. And I promise... I will do everything I can to find Romeo. Hi, Carter. It's Dr. Malik, um, Dylan's aunt. It's about one of your students, Lucas Hay. He seems to be struggling with something and, well, I thought it would be good if you could keep an eye on him. Hey, Rafe, I'm just out walking Henry. Can I call you when I get back? <laughs> OK, thank you. Bye. Henry, wait! <laughs> 